Hello gorgeous souls. Welcome to your fortnightly astrology. I've just had my COVID vaccine and I am going away in two days. So I do not have time to do the two, but we are going away to film you some fabulous footage for Kathy's amazing video. So hopefully you'll forgive us and you'll support us in doing this. And yeah, some interesting times. Let's get stuck in. Here's your fortnightly astrology. Libra, marvellous Libra, how are you doing? How is your balance going? How is the harmony in your life and all the things that are important to you? Well, this week, there's a lot of life lessons and soul opportunities. We kick off with Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, going backwards. So you're looking at the past. You're looking at potentially at family dynamics. You're looking at what family means to you now and what you want and what you need to transform connected to your home and family. In fact, there may have been something big that happened either in the past or recently that's created a shift and you're going, right, where do I want to go from here? But to do that, in a way, you might have to take a trip in the time machine backwards and look at the past in some way. Now, if you've had a traumatic event or there's something going on with you that you're not comfortable with, it's good to seek support this week and maybe talk with a, with a therapist or a counsellor. You might find that actually really rewarding. There is a full supermoon. It's the first supermoon of the year. What does that mean? It means the moon is coming close to Earth. But also, well, we see it bigger and we feel it. We feel intense feelings. And for you, it's all about your sense of security. You are looking at your security. You're looking at abundance and this full moon will shine its moonlight hopefully in a path forward for you but of course it's quite intense because it's scorpio and it's a super moon and also it's opposing uranus the planet of surprise and the unexpected in your primal zone so basically quite a primal experience also venus too is in your primal zone and opposing this super moon but it's showing you in a way how to come fully into your power but mind you, we never fully come into our power because each time we're fully in our power, we can go fully, fully, fully further into our power. But it's saying to you, believe in yourself now. Trust your power. Build up a secure relationship with yourself. Big things could be coming to you. And in fact, you might find yourself with an opportunity to be in a position of power or to be in the spotlight in some way. How you feel about that, only you can decide. Your choices matter, though. The sun is also joining forces with Uranus, but it gives you a sense of confidence to do something or to explore something. You're also very much the psychic detective. You may be ferreting out a truth this week or having a very deep conversation. Now, the following week, the energy is shifting. On May the 4th, we have Mercury going into your adventure and New Horizons studying, learning and travel zone. And also Venus is going there too. You, you want to shake things up. You have the opportunity to explore. And even if you don't feel that, you know, the way I use astrology in my life is if I see that, I go, you know, I'm going to try that. I'm going to, I'm going to let the cosmos support me in trying to be more adventurous and trying to explore and study and feast on knowledge more. So we can use it even if we don't initially feel it. That is the magic. That is the wonder uh, we also have Venus trying Pluto. You're coming to a certain sense of peace connected to family and your power and your home. But there's some quite intense emotions. But it's like you are you have the opportunity to be... I'm saying no one can ever be in control of their emotions, but you're flowing with them. And also the next day, Moon is sextile Pluto, um, sextile Venus. So there's just this lovely air of... You know, whatever happens, you're you're cool and, and you've got it nailed. Anyway, have a stunning week, my darlings. You take care and I'll speak to you soon.